The languid pace in the Filipino province of Laguna belies the energy of its people, the young ones especially. Among them is this group of budding musicians who dream of turning professional one day. But few have heard of their orchestra and fewer believe in their aspiration. With limited music knowledge, their hopes are dim until a world-renowned violinist from Singapore learns of their struggles. When they told me about a village orchestra that was started as a social project, I was just intrigued by it. Her curiosity leads to a talent scout trip which will give five of the novice musicians a chance to be groomed under her wing. Who among them will show enough promise to win her confidence? The, when you started the handle, bum, 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 bum. The ride from Manila to Laguna takes two hours and Li Hui Min, also known as Min Li, is glad she has good company. Wang Ya Hui, an accomplished Singaporean conductor, gamely agreed to join her on this trip with a mission. It is sundown by the time they reach Laguna. A young crowd has been anticipating their arrival. Although not pitch perfect, the orchestra leaves a good first impression on the Singaporean visitors, considering that the ensemble was started only a year ago by a non-governmental organization called Gojucate. Yahoo and I were watching all the faces when they were playing, and we were saying that there wasn't a board face in the orchestra. There were all five pieces that they were playing, like everybody was really attentive. So I think these kids really do have a passion for it. Moved by the warm reception, Min Li reciprocates with her distinctive flair. I'll play a really short little piece called Yankee Doodle. With a packed schedule, Min Lee can spare only two precious days over the weekend to train nine violinists. We'll be doing a violin workshop on technique and some violin skills. We'll be learning a new song as well, which hopefully we can learn in two days. Because on Sunday, we'll have a sort of little audition for all of you, where we will select five young violinists. And uh, these five young violinists will come to Singapore later this year for a short visit and also to play a concert. So, this Sunday, audition. <laughs> the time frame is really short. Two days for learning, making changes in the violin is really short. Most people take years, so it'll be quite a challenge. Too high or too low? Min Li, who was a child violinist prodigy, soon discovers that training these young musicians takes much more work than she had imagined. I will work a little bit on your bowing. You have to be in tune. After the welcome revelry the night before, Min Lee gets down to work early the next day. Equally anxious to get started are these young Filipinos who had little training in the past. Together, the eight always tune together. I find it really incredible that they were taught by one lady, and not only that, she's not really a violinist herself. She told me that she was learning from the internet, just watching videos and things. So what they have achieved is pretty, I think, pretty wonderful. I mean, they can play. It's there's things to adjust and work on, but they can actually play. Higher is this way. As the violinists had been playing in the orchestra for a year, Min Lee thought she could just focus on improving their techniques. But she soon finds herself starting from almost ground zero. Okay, I've heard that some of you are not quite sure how to tune your violins. Okay, so I'll show you how we're going to tune our violins. Let's go over to the keyboard. Okay, so you can just watch. 
First you take the A. I have to admit when I first came and I realized they didn't know how to tune the violins. That was a little bit of a shock to me because I guess I just took it for granted that tuning the violin is one of the first things you do when you learn the violin. One, two, three, four. Everybody knows the scale, but do you hear that we're not always playing the same note? Yes. So this is where we come in as an orchestra, we have to be in tune together. Learning the violin is its a hard thing to do, especially intonation. When you play the piano, the pitch is already there, notes are all there. Whereas for the violin, even the tiniest little adjustment, like two millimeters, is the difference between being in tune and out of tune. Tiny, only small one, there. Perfect. Even holding the violin correctly is an art, and it isn't easy. Okay, these two fingers should face the thumb. These two fingers face the thumb. Relax this. Drop your wrist. Aha, drop it. That's it. This is your natural wrist. Okay, it's like if you're going to punch somebody, you won't punch them this way. Right? It's going to be very painful. So same thing. Play the violin, just nice and straight wrist. Despite the intense learning process, the students are warming up to their celebrity teacher with each passing minute. I feel nervous because I think she will scold me. But my thinking is wrong because she is a very good teacher. She told me uh, my posture and my fingering is wrong, so I correct it. And she say it very good. Rhythm is very good. Not that long. At first, it is difficult because we are very shy because we know that uh, she is really popular in Singapore. But then, when she taught us, we are challenged. Actually, we are challenged, though it's difficult. But now we are step by step. We're getting it. Okay, let's get it in tune now. After an hour's drill, Min Lee students are now ready to display their basic skills as a group. And their new song? The Lively Royal Fireworks by George Friedrich Handel. That's going to be your new piece that we will hopefully learn by Sunday. <laughs> Although the pace seems punishing, Min Lee shows no sign of fatigue. The student's insatiable appetite to learn keeps her spirits high. What I really enjoy about teaching this group is that you, that you really feel they want to be here. They really want to learn. Once you tell them something, you see them working at it, even when you're not there. Like for right now, I told them it's lunch break. Uh, they're not taking me too seriously, they're still practicing. <laughs> so it's just, it's just wonderful the enthusiasm they have. During the practice, Min Lee has spotted a few potential stars, one of whom is Jason Murphy. Now, uh, Jason, you are the concert master, so you have to lead everybody to. Everybody must follow Jason, his bowing and everything in the same time, so we'll be perfectly together. Okay, get our intonation, everybody together now. Three, four, go. Getting better. When Win Min Lee uh, told me that uh, I'll, I'll be the one who is the concert master, I think that's the word. So I feel blessed and I was I was overwhelmed. Go. 
Good. That's good. The encouragement from Min Li means a lot to 22-year-old Jason, who aspires to be a professional musician. He also wants to teach the violin to supplement his mother's income. She's the sole breadwinner of the family and makes only 12 US dollars a day selling homemade snacks. Many of Jason's orchestra mates come from poor families too, so they have been trying to scale up their performance by learning from each other, hoping that they can apply for free tuition fees for their higher education. Many also hope to find part-time work teaching music for extra income. 13-year-old Melissa Espinola is starting early. She is honing her music teaching skills in Talahiban Village at the foothills of Mount Makili. When Min Li and Ya Hui heard that she has an afternoon class that day, they asked to come along. There are about 150 small huts housing two to three families each in this village. With a large family size of ten, the parents who rely on collecting wood, coconut, and cassava for a living can ill afford music lessons for their children. It is here that Melissa teaches a group of children six days a week for free. <laughs> I want to help my student, not only myself, but my student. And uh, I know that someday uh, music will help them to go to school in college and high school. She's a really dedicated teacher. She comes down here every day. She's got so many students, and she teaches them how to read notes. She's um, and she's just doing this out of passion. So I think that's really wonderful. This trip. Is an eye opener for Minli and Yahui, who discover how music has made a difference to this village. They don't have the means and the instruments. You know, even the recorders are made of a really plasticy, and and some of them are completely out of tune. But it shows that you don't have to be rich before you can appreciate music or love music. You can love music, you know, even with nothing. Touched by the young Filipino's passion for music. Yahui is happy to share her knowledge with Bernard Benedicto, conductor of the Laguna Orchestra. Uh, so si re, okay. So si re re so la si do re so so. Make sure it sounds that way. Or G. This is not the first time Yahui is working with Bernard. A week before her Philippines trip, Bernard came to Singapore, and she took time off to coach him. We put him in front of a quartet, which was made up of professional musicians, music teachers, and he was very courageous. He hasn't had much musical training,、uh, so everything that I taught him, he was very willing to absorb and learn very quickly. I learned to be in a relaxed position、yeah, during conducting. Some said that conducting is a hard thing to do, but because of something that Yahoo taught me, then I feel so not so hard, but so easy. So the first thing is while in Singapore, Yahoo also bought Bernard a special gift, a baton. Now back in Laguna, Bernard. Is feeling more confident in front of his orchestra, and after ten hours of rigorous practice, the violinists are also sounding more professional now. But are they ready to put their violin skills to the ultimate test? Min Li will find out at the audition the next day. It is the day of reckoning, and the young violinists are feeling the pressure. In an hour's time, nine of them will have to play solo before a panel of three judges, and Min Li is one of them. 
only the five best players will be chosen for training in Singapore. While Min Li checks on the violinists, Jason finds a quiet spot to perfect his bowing. I feel so nervous. I really want to be the one who will send in Singapore because I know this is a, an achievement for me and also uh, this is a fulfilling uh, uh, event in my life. Judging is about to start and Min Li invites Ya Hui and special guest judge Ray Sison from the Manila Symphony Orchestra to lend their ears. One of the things we're definitely looking at is natural aptitude and natural ability. But we're definitely not looking for perfect. I think more importantly than that, it's just that they've really managed to absorb what we've taught them over the last few days and that, they are, um, that they're very eager to learn. And also I think very important is the, the kids that come to Singapore, they're able to help their fellow orchestra members when they come back. It is the first time that these violinists are being assessed by music professionals and it shows. I think the cloud of the kids are nervous because yeah. they are quite different now. Mm -hmm. And but I don't think Melissa was a big performer. He was yeah, less nervous. Yeah, Melissa was, I don't think she even breathed. <laughs> Some could have done better. Your hands, just remember to keep oh, no, no claws. Yes, just relax. Your rhythm for the handle needs work. Yeah, because especially when you play in an ensemble, you can't go off on yourself. So you must be very sure of the rhythm. Very clear rhythm. But it's not entirely a disappointing afternoon. One very good thing about it is that you're really trying with the musical part of it. The, when you started the handle, bum, 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 you had some energy there, which is very nice to see. You have good presence, so you're a performer in the making, so keep it up. One thing for sure, all the violinists have exceeded Min Lee's expectations. I'm really amazed and impressed with the kids, their work ethic and the yes. progress they've made. Mm -hmm. I think if you listen back two days ago, really C sharp and C natural did not exist. <laughs> <laughs> and today it does exist, so yeah. I'm really, really good. proud of the kids. Three very clear ones and then mine would be Veronica. While the decision is unanimous for the first three choices, the judges yeah. are not quite in sync but when it comes I to the last two. Kudos to Manuel and Maria. I, I, I really like Matthew, but Maria really did try hard too, which yeah. is so hmm, it's a we, tough choice. Okay. And finally oh, I think we have a decision. Great. Done. <laughs> Done. For now, to give us the result, Nicole Riri Men, please come up. I have here the lists of names that will be coming, taking a trip to Singapore later this year. So, I wish we could take all of you to Singapore because you were really impressive in the auditions, but you can only take five, so maybe hopefully sometime next, another time. But anyway, so the list of five, just in the order they auditioned for us, are Melissa. Next is Matthew. <laughs> Liesl. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> and last but not least, Veronica. <laughs> So these are the five that will be coming to Singapore for a quick trip and a big round of applause for them. Besides breaking the good news, Min Lee also presents a thoughtful gift to Bernard. These are for you and the orchestra. These are violins. This is a smaller violin, a three-quarter. Yeah. So for good for younger children. And here's another one. And um, we've got 13 in total that we brought over for you. So these are just two, but we have 11 more. Wow. So, good for the orchestra. Just wanted to mention that the violins and the trip to Singapore are sponsored by the Asian Culture Enterprise Singapore. So, big thank you to ASUS.
Oh, no, uh, I'm speechless now. <laughs> uh, this would be great, you know, uh, for us to have, you know, to train more talents. As reality you. sings in, a few of the violinists are visibly moved. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I cried in, in stage uh, because uh, I feel so lucky. I also cried because I saw my mother. I believe the reason why she is crying a while ago because uh, she find or she found hope. Because as we all know, our source of income here in the Philippines is not that good. She found hope of going there. I mean, to be to become to have uh, to level up. Pangarap ko siya na magtagumpay siya. Dahil kaya ako siya pinaghirapan mapapag-aral para matupad niya yung pangarap niya at makatulong siya sa amin. I'm not expected my daughter to go to Singapore since she is 8 years old. She says, Mama, my dream is famous musician. So, I, I don't expected that uh, 